I'm gonna give you five of the best sled exercises to improve your agility, and we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, I'm Dane Miller from Garage Strength, and if this is your first time to the channel, make sure that you're interested in learning about how to gain explosiveness, how to improve your strength, how to enhance your athletic capability, and all other types of human performance stuff. If that's what you're interested, make sure you comment down below, you hit that subscribe button, and you ring that notification bell. So what we're gonna talk about today is how we can use sleds to improve our agility as athletes. And so oftentimes we get athletes that come into our doors who are very slow out of their cuts. They struggle to make changes of direction rapidly. They struggle to decelerate, and then they struggle to accelerate out of those cuts. So this could be a football player who's, who's a running back that's trying to make a cut, or a linebacker that's following those running backs and can't cut at the same rate. Maybe it's a soccer player who's trying to avoid defensive individuals, but they struggle to coordinate their dribble and their cuts together. Maybe it's a lacrosse player or a field hockey player, whoever it is, we've got a lot of athletes that struggle with change of direction. And over the years, we've developed a nice sled protocol to increase that change of direction so that the athlete learns how to decelerate and get out of the cut rapidly. That first sled exercise that we like to use is karaoke. So we like to get our feet moving rapidly. We want to build up our hip girdle. We want to build up our glute medius so that over time, when we're trying to plant and get out of that cut, we can start to associate that drive, that side drive that we're utilizing when we're doing the karaoke on the sled. We can start to coordinate that properly when we get on the football field, we start to recognize that penultimate plant, we start to feel that big drive out of the cut, and we can make cuts faster, ultimately losing our defenders, or if we're on the defense, we're capable of hanging with the running backs, hanging with the wide receivers, and making the plays that need to be made. That second exercise we like to use is a side driving sled work. So somebody would use this quite frequently if they really, really have weak quads and weak glutes. What we like to do is if this is an issue, we'll put side driving sled work into their program almost immediately every single time that they're gonna be doing leg work. At the end of their leg session, we'll hit five to seven sets of 15 to 20 meters for them to really develop their quads and their glutes. And what's great about this is that there's a minimal eccentric loading, so it doesn't beat the body up, but it does increase awareness and muscular coordination throughout their lower limbs so that they can improve their agility. That third exercise is a unique one. It's a pull back and drive right away. And so this is gonna teach you how to pull that sled backwards. You're gonna feel that burn in the quads. You've gotta to try to hold a solid posture, and then you're gonna get into that plant and drive right away, rapidly changing direction with a load in front of you. And so when you've got that sled in front of you, that's gonna create a steeper shin angle and it's gonna mimic what you're gonna be doing on the field when you're getting out of that cut. We've gotta remember the key elements behind improving speed and agility is having rate of force development and being capable of optimizing your acceleration. And the sled pull backwards into that rapid drive will lead to that optimization of acceleration just like in the drive phase of the sprints. So number four and number five are sort of a combination exercise. If we can think about heavy sled work, but this is either gonna be heavy sled work where we're driving forward with our arms extended or heavy sled work where we're pulling forward with a harness on. And what we can relate this to is think about a running back who's running full speed and they go to make a cut, they put that hand down and they're almost three-legging it out of that cut. That's really good agility. And as they get out of that cut, now they're gonna three-leg it and they're gonna start to accelerate. And that's where both of these exercises come into play is they transfer over very, very well because of how steep the shin angle is. So we're gonna create a little bit of tension on the Achilles tendon. We're gonna load the quad, we're gonna load the posterior chain, and we're gonna learn how to push and learn how to drive out of those cuts. This is almost the exact same position that we see in the sprints during the drive phase. In the drive phase is when we learn how to accelerate as athletes, and that is what's gonna carry over to the football field. 
So if you're a field athlete and you wanna use these five exercises, try to get five to seven sets of 15 to 20 meters. Make sure you're loading these properly. Make sure you're recovering accordingly and make sure that you feel what that plant could be like to improve your change of direction, to improve your agility on the field. We cover all this information in our agile and hostile agility based program that's available over at garagestrength.com. If you wanna learn a little bit more information, all around agility, click on this card right here and you're gonna get that next video where we go into even deeper science and information behind agility-based training. Peace.